In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Content Aware Crop. Hey everyone, welcome to the Photoshop Training Channel. My name is Jesus Ramirez, and you can find me on Instagram at jrfromptc. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Crop tool with Content Aware. We have this image here, and you can see that the image does not have a straight horizon line. It's at an angle. So what we're going to do is click on the Crop tool and click on the Straighten tool. Currently, we have Delete Crop Pixels unchecked and Content Aware unchecked. We'll leave it like this for now. I'm going to click on the Straighten tool, then click and drag on the horizon line, follow it along to the other side, and release once you get to the other side. Photoshop will then try to straighten this image, and once it does, you can just hit Enter or Return on the Mac, and notice that now we have a straight horizon. The downside is that we lost a lot of the pixels that were invisible. If I click on the Crop tool and then click on one of the handles, you'll see that we rotated the image to make the horizon straight, but the reason that we cropped in was because we had these transparent pixels, and Photoshop just cropped so that we could only have the visible pixels. So we lost a lot of the image by straining it and then cropping it. What we can do instead is check Content Aware, then I'm going to click and drag on the horizon line with the Straighten tool, release when I get to the other side. This time it also rotates the image, but you can control what areas you want Photoshop to fill in. So Photoshop is going to fill in the transparent areas that we're selecting here. So I'm just going to just leave it like this for now and click on the check mark. Notice that Photoshop will generate the pixels on the edges that we lost. So it's essentially doing a content aware fill. So I'm going to click on the crop tool. I can also click and drag up to add more pixels above the image, in this case to add more sky. I'm going to hit enter, return on the Mac to commit the changes. And we're going to do a content aware fill on the top, which will introduce more sky. So we're filling in pixels based on the content around the transparent areas. We could also click and drag the handle to the right to add more sky and some of that grass and hay. So I'm going to tap on the check mark, and there it is. We added more. I could also add more to the bottom of the image. So I'm going to click and drag and go down. I'll hit enter, return on the Mac to commit the changes and we get more hay down here. Now this works great in images that don't have a lot of recognizable detail. In some areas it may not work as well. So if I click and drag to the left here, it probably will not look as good just because of the stack of hay that we have. It's not terrible, but it's not great. So this tool does have its limitations, but you can use it when you straighten your photos or when you want to add a little more sky. Remember that this video is part of my Content Aware series on YouTube. I have a playlist that goes through all the tools using Content Aware. The link to that playlist is right below this video. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If this is your first time at the Photoshop Training Channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you again soon.